Welcome back to the NXT Universe Mode on a night where we will introduce the first two matches for the newly announced Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic number two. Very exciting. We're kicking things off tonight with one of those Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic matches, and then we will be closing out the show with another one of those Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic matches. Kicking off tonight's show, it is going to be the Undisputed Era's Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish taking on Heavy Machinery, Otis Dozovic, and Tucker Knight. And then closing out the show, it is going to be the team of Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali, who have dubbed themselves Team Heart and Soul, obviously playing off their whole gimmick of being the heart and soul of 205 Live, versus the team from NXT UK, Tyler Bate and Trent Seven, Mustache Mountain, so it's going to be a very exciting night. The Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals will culminate at our next TakeOver event, which I'm very excited to announce the name of. That will be on next week's episode, though. So stick around for that. Please subscribe with your notifications turned on. And follow me on social media so you guys can get all the updates for the NXT Universe Mode and just random updates to the channel if they come about. But it's going to be very exciting to see these tag teams finally get the showcase that they deserve in this tournament. The best of every tag team will be shown here tonight. Look at this. Otis Dozovic and Tucker Knight, they're all about stakes and weights. And the Undisputed Era, former NXT Tag Team Champions. It'd be interesting to see uh, where this tournament takes both of these teams, really. I mean, we know Heavy Machinery in the real world are on Raw and SmackDown, or uh, hopefully maybe by the time this video goes out, who knows, maybe they'll be on one of, one of the other shows. Maybe they'll be tag team champions, who knows. But one thing is for sure, one of these teams is moving on in this tournament. This is the opening round, the first matchup of the tournament. It's going to be very, very exciting to see all the teams that come about in this. One thing you guys noticed in the tournament brackets from last week and something that I pointed out was that a new team is going to be coming to NXT, the War Raiders, the former War Machine. Many people may know them from their work in New Japan and Ring of Honor. I'm going to be very excited to see them come into the universe mode. It'll be interesting to see them mix it up with some of the tag teams here in NXT, like the Street Profits, Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch. Uh, even Heavy Machinery and the Undisputed Era. It's going to be very exciting to see all those teams go at it. Uh, but that's what this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic is all about, to prove who is the top tag team here in NXT. And right now it seems to be uh, Heavy Machinery here. Otis just tossing around Bobby Fish like a, like a piece of steak. He's just trying to soften up the meat. And Bobby Fish, I wonder if... Otis and Tucker Knight actually like fish meat. Who knows? I tried catfish before. It was very good. Uh, we were at a Golden Corral, and me and my brother had uh, breaded catfish. It was very, very delicious. Although, I don't know if Bobby Fish ooh, cares about my experiences at Golden Corral. Look at this. Mr. Grill, Master Tucky, getting, in, getting on the top rope. Oh, man. Oh, man. Getting on the top rope is Tucky. Tucker Knight hardly ever gets on the top rope. And look at this, Bobby Fish trying to knock him off, just delivering these stiff kicks. And look at this, Otis shutting down all the momentum. Could be possibly looking for a world's strongest slam. No, he's trying to look for the trash compactor, but he doesn't have he doesn't have Tucker Knight in position. Although Tucker Knight now in the ring, trying to get back into it. Bobby Fish though, oh, rolling discus elbow. Oh, Tucker Knight nearly taken out by Bobby Fish. And now look at this, Otis Dozovic trying to get back up to his feet. The referee trying to keep Tucker Knight out of the ring. And Kyle O'Reilly providing the distraction. A clubbing blow to the back of the head of Otis Dozovic. And Dozovic is out. I don't know if maybe Adam Cole slipped him something, like a, a piece of metal or brass knuckles. 
But the Undisputed Era taking advantage with the high-low. Bobby Fish in the ring trying to keep Tucker Knight out. Kyle O'Reilly makes the pin. And the Undisputed Era are the first team to move on in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what the heck happened there. I, Kyle O'Reilly, while the referee was distracted, trying to get Tucker Knight out of the ring, clubbed Otis in the back of the head with something. There's no way Otis was just taken out by just a clubbing blow to the back of the head. And then watch this. Makes the tag to Kyle O'Reilly. And then watch this. The tag team maneuver that's won them the tag team titles before advances them in the tag team tournament known as the Dusty Classic. The high-low and the Undisputed Era, they've definitely been through some highs and lows in their careers thus far. But here, this is a very big high advancing in this tournament. As we're going to see an updated look at the brackets for this tournament. There you see the Undisputed Era moving on to face either Trent Seven and Tyler Bate or Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander. But we're going to move straight on into one-on-one -on -one action here. The Velveteen Dream going to be in his first matchup ever since losing to his former tag team partner, EC3, with the help of Drake Maverick, might I add. He's going to be taking on one of the Forgotten Sons. Uh, uh, I, his name is right on the tip of my tongue. Hold on a second. Um, I, I, I don't know. I know his name is like down in the corner, but I don't want to be cheating. Uh, uh, he's definitely not uh, Gunner, whatever his name is, from... Uh, Impact Wrestling. Uh, um, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. Uh, is it Steve Cutler? I don't know. It's got to be Steve Cutler, right? No, wait. I mean, Steve Cutler doesn't have that big of a beard. I don't know. Oh no, wait, it's it's Wesley Blake! Okay, so Velveteen Dream is gonna go one on one with the Forgotten Sons, Wesley Blake. Oh wait, he already beat him. Oh. Alright. <laughs> well, um at least I remembered his name. Uh well, the Velveteen Dream with a dominant victory here tonight over Wesley Blake of the Forgotten Sons. Velveteen wait, aren't the Forgotten Sons a tag team? Why weren't they in the Dusty Classic? Oh well, I guess too many spots taken up. Velveteen Dream laying out Wesley Blake very quickly with the DD Dream and then the Purple Rainmaker Elbow. And Velveteen Dream here tonight, even after his loss to EC3. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and there goes Wesley Blake. It seems as though Dream is clearing the ring for an in ring promo. What is the Velveteen Dream going to say here? The Dream has the microphone. What's he going to say? Whoa! Velveteen Dream challenging EC3's manager, Drake Maverick, to a match. Well, that'll be interesting. Velveteen Dream versus Drake Maverick? Hey, I'd pay to see that, wouldn't you? Wow, very, very chilling words there from our NXT champion, Tommaso Ciampa. But moving on here from the NXT Championship, we move back to the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic for tonight's main event. Trent Seven and Tyler Bate, Mustache Mountain, former NXT Tag Team Champions in uh, the real world, go up against this new tag team here of Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali that call themselves Heart and Soul. And look at this. They even had matching gear. It's going to be very exciting here tonight. Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali, two of the best cruiserweights on 205 Live, now coming here to the universe mode of NXT, to the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And if there was one thing Dusty Rhodes was all about, it was about capitalizing on opportunities, which is what both of these teams, which is what all of these teams are hoping for uh, in this tournament, is the opportunity to go to our next TakeOver event that is 
that is all about the tag team division and become the winners of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. I'm going to be very excited for that. And Cedric Alexander opening things up with... Oh, Tyler Bates, who just eats a trouble in paradise kick. I, I just noticed Trent Seven still has his, like, towel around his neck. Is he actually going to wrestle with the towel around his neck? I don't know. Maybe he'll take it off, like, once he makes the tag. He'll, like, throw it off. I don't know. Or perhaps maybe we'll have a situation where if Tyler Bate gets too damaged by Cedric or Mustafa Ali, maybe Tyler Bate or Trent Seven may have to throw in the towel for one another. Who knows? Tyler Bate possibly trying to fend off a lumbar check there. Tyler Bate with a roll-up pin on Cedric. Imagine if Tyler... I believe Tyler Bate is a cruiserweight, so not only would he be advancing on in the tournament, but he would have a championship match for the cruiserweight title against Cedric there if he had pinned him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to try and make the tag. Cedric, what are you doing? Oh, he tr he almost did. He almost made the tag. And it seems as though, yes, Trent Seven is going to wrestle in the towel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, I had to reach for my drink. Trent Seven is actually going to wrestle in that towel. Wow. This is going to be pretty sad if Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander are going to lose to a guy in a towel. The physics of that towel is very crazy that it hasn't fallen off his neck yet. But look at this. Trent Seven going after both Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander with a towel still stuck in his neck. Mustafa Ali gets out of the ring and gets knocked out for his efforts there. Trent Seven in the ring. The veteran of the two from the Team Mustache Mountain. Uppercut by Cedric Alexander. Uh-oh. Oh, may have been trying to look for that detonation kick. Trent Seven, though, dropping to his knee. Tyler Bate with a forearm smash. Bate trying to help his tag team partner out. Cross body to Cedric. And Mustache Mountain are rolling. And Cedric Alexander trying to get to his partner, trying to make the tag to Mustafa Ali. Here we go. Makes the tag. I don't remember which one Mustafa Ali is supposed to be. Is he the heart or the soul? I think he's the heart of 205 Live. But here tonight, he hopes to be the heart of the team that keeps the team of Cedric and Mustafa Ali beating in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Oh, Mustafa Ali. Forearm smash. Drop kick to Trent Seven. Tyler Bate nowhere to be found. Cedric Alexander, though, on the outside. And Mustafa has him in the corner, trying to make a tag to his partner, but his partner's not there. Mustafa Ali trying to stay alive in this tournament. He's got a stick and move. He's on the apron, and you know what he's going for here. He's going for that roll through X Factor. Here we go. Oh, oh, Trent Seven catches him, though, into a spine buster. Spine on the pine, as they say. Trent Seven. Oh, look at our stump puller pile driver. Ali reverses. Roll up pin. Oh, here we go. Cover. One kick out. Very nice kick out. Trent Seven staying alive, as is that towel around his neck. I don't know. I still don't know how that towel is surviving, even after some of the maneuvers that are going on here. Ooh! And Trent Seven alone again in the ring. Mustafa Ali. Ooh! Fended off momentarily. Forearm smashed by Trent Seven. And look at this. Could be looking for that Rainmaker. He loves that ripcord lariat. Mustafa Ali, though, fends it off. And heart and soul. Oh, Mustafa Ali psyching up Cedric Alexander. What is this? This may be the debut of their finishing maneuver that they s apparently stole from the Young Bucks. It's called more bang for your buck. And the fans here in the arena getting more bang for their buck. Incredible maneuvers here. A 450 splash, a moonsault by Cedric and Ali. Uh-oh, and Ali was trying to get in the ring to perhaps save his partner from the pin being broken up. Uh-oh. Tyler Driver 97 and now Ali dives in to save his partner taking out Tyler Bate it is now back down to Trent Seven and Cedric Alexander as the legal men a whole lot of commotion there all from Mustafa Ali trying to get in the ring and now Trent Seven has Cedric in control 
Oh, misses with the splash in the corner, though. Cedric trying to take advantage. Here we go. Lumbar check. And still somehow that towel stays on Trent Seven's neck. I still have no idea. No matter how, what way this match goes. Uh-oh. This may be it. And indeed it is. Heart and soul pick up the win over Mustache Mountain and the, the secret MVP of this match, Trent Seven's towel. That is an incredible towel. I, I, don't, I don't know how the heck that towel stayed on his neck the entire time, but somehow, some way, it managed to stay on, although Mustache Mountain will not stay on in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. They are defeated by the team of Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander. They are moving on in the tournament. Congratulations to the team of heart and soul. Great tag team maneuvers here. Look at this. Tyler Driver only to be fended off by a splash from Ali and Cedric and Mustafa Ali heart and soul are moving on in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. What an incredible first round here tonight on the Universe Mode.